Hello everyone, welcome to happymath.com. So today's topic is construct 90%, 95%, 99% compass interval based on small sample case. Okay, so look at this example. In a random sample of 10 adults from the US, the mean waste generated per person per day was 4.50 pounds and the standard deviation was 1.21 pounds. Okay, so based on that, I, I organize all this data. So sample mean equal to 4.50 and the standard deviation 1.21 and sample size become 10 here. So as you see, sample size 10 is very similar case here. And then we assume this is the uh, sample standard deviation so this time uh, we are not using normal distribution instead we will use t distribution okay the same thing come to the level i'm going to set up first 90 percent so let's say 0.90 okay then alpha means the counter compass interval so it will be equal to one minus beta this value okay so this time 0.1 will be our uh, alpha value. Marginal error, so equal to confidence. Then this time we are, we are choosing t here because the sample size, is, the sample size is small. And then sigma is unknown. So click t distribution and click alpha and comma. And the standard deviation, comma, and sample size 10. And then enter. There will be our marginal error. So let's make about maybe three decimal digits. Okay. Then now, low bound equal to sample mean minus marginal error. And the upper bound equal to sample mean plus marginal error. Like that. Okay. So based on these facts, we can find out 90% confidence interval is 3.799 and then 5.201. Okay. Then now, let's find out 95%. So we already set up some system here. So just switch 0.9 to 0.95. Watch out what is going on. Okay. So I'm going to switch. 0.95. Ta-da. See? Did you see? Every value has been changed. Okay? Because we set up as a, we using exit commander and then make some algorithm. That's why, that's why it happened. And then, that's our answer already. So I can conclude 95% confidence interval is 3.634 comma and then 5.366 okay then now you know how to find 99% yes that is correct you only switch this to 0.99 enter yes then there will be our 99% confidence interval so 99% confidence interval is 3.256 comma 5.744 so based on that we can also compare how this interval level uh, varied so like um, uh, lower bound as you see is getting smaller and smaller and the upper bound is getting larger and larger you can also compare this way too okay so uh, today we cover the construct multi-level compass interval using Excel program and I really hope this video helps you to understand this topic and then as usual I will see you with a different video later. Alright, thank you, bye.